The day dash slander got to stop. We got to stop this day dash slander. I'm ready. I'm ranting now because y'all going to sit there in my comments acting like Dame Dash ain't a fucking goat. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Big Chico back with another video. And yes, we are back. Shout out to everybody that's been tuned into the videos and my lives been doing numbers. My lives do numbers. We got to go back to the lives, but we got to keep the content coming. So today's episode is based upon a post that I posted, which it was a reel, which is at like 10,000 views right now. And it's pretty much me saying what well, I didn't say. I posted a video on how I felt. Dame Dash is a GOAT. Dame Dash is the reason Rockefeller was one of the biggest uh, rap labels in the world. He's one of the reasons. I'm not saying he's the only reason. He's one of the reasons. Of course, Jay played a role. Biggs played a role, but you, I, you know, I think Biggs just had brand and invested in shit, and Dame just kind of like, you know, courted certain things and helped him out in certain areas. But I really solely believe that the 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 dedication, the ambition of Dame Dash made Rockefeller what it is. And y'all sitting in my comments saying it's Jay Z. Y'all saying Jay Z is the reason. Why Rockefeller was so big, right? But who invested into Jay-Z? Damn. Who believed in Rockefeller's biggest artist? Biggest artist. When Hove didn't believe it. Damn. Who started Rockaware? Damn. Let's not get it twisted. Jay-Z is, quote-unquote, a good businessman, right? I mean, shit, I mean, we, we really don't, we don't really know about his business moves back then because it was all based off of competition, just like the 50 Cent shit. He did that just because just Irv signed Nas when they was beefing. So he's emotionally driven. But we're talking about Dane, the dude who brought us state property, the dude who brought us... Memphis, well, not Memphis Bleak, because Memphis Bleak is Ho's young boy. So I, I'm sorry there. I, I'm sorry there. Let's let's stop there. I went too far. But Dame still, Dame is the one who actually brought us paid in full paper soldiers. These hood classics. He but death of a dynasty. Dame Dash is the reason Rockefeller was so successful. Yes, Dame has a hell of an ego. It killed a lot of his business ventures, a lot of relationship. It killed it. But you know one thing you got to respect about Dame? His passion for the culture. For the culture. So how can y'all sit there and say Dame is not the reason Rockefeller was successful? Dame brought us the biggest acts from Rockefeller. Billionaires came from up under his umbrella. His umbrella. I don't want niggas to be like, well, Kanye a billionaire. He went well. No. Remember, Hove didn't believe in the, the vision of Kanye. Dame did. So I don't want to hear this Dame ain't do this, Dame ain't that. The Dame slander gotta stop. Put some respect on that man's name. Yes, he has an ego and it may have tarnished relationships, but let's be honest. Without that, that drive he had, that ambition he had, it wouldn't be, Rockefeller wouldn't be as fire as it was today. The reason why Rockefeller broke up is because of Hove, not Dane. Let's be real. It's, it wasn't because of Dane. It was because of Hove. Not because Hove was on some old shut this label down, I don't want to deal with it. Hove knew his power, bro. Hove basically was like, yo, I'm retiring. I'm, I'm good. I did what I needed to do. I'm done. We about to wrap this up. So Dane started to put other people in places to be, you know, to take the step up. Remember the, the Cameron thing and the, and, the, and the Beanie Siegel thing about them being presidents, which never actually happened. It was just a conversation. It was all it was. And Cam jumped out the window with it. But Dane was like, cool, I'm going to put somebody else in position to be a big artist in New York. And he did well with, 
with, with Cam. Cam did well. Beans did well. You feel what I'm saying? And it came from Dame. That came from Dame. Dame sat in Beanie Siegel court cases day in and day out. Because of the respect and the love that he had for his artists. He looked at him as family. Hove ain't pop out for shit. If it's one thing we can't say about Hove, he bought his money, man. If it don't make him dollars, it don't make sense to him. Dame is a passionate person. He moves off that heartbeat, which isn't always a good thing. But one thing's for sure, two things, uh, two things for certain. We cannot have Dame Dash slander. We don't want it. We don't need it. We can talk about his ego, and sometimes his perception is his own perception. And we're all entitled to that shit. You know what I'm saying? We're all entitled to our opinions, perception, whatever. We're entitled to that. But we're not going to sit here and say Dame ain't the reason why Rockefeller was successful. Yes, Dame Dash. Dame Dash is one of the reasons Rockefeller was so successful. And I want the narrative to stop by saying it was all Jay-Z. It wasn't all Jay-Z. Y'all seen these videos of Dame Dash in the office screaming and yelling like, yo, what y'all doing? Why y'all plotting with my artists? Not like the passion he had, the fight he had for his artists is unmatched. You'll never see that again in this motherfucking world. We all done took pages out of it. Don't forget why we all want to be bosses is because of Dame. After the Breakfast Club interview, that woke a lot of people up. Thinking about the increase of entrepreneurs or business owners or shit, just how many LLCs opened up because of Dame saying shit like that. We got to give that man credit, man. And at some point, we got to stop painting this picture or this narrative that Dame's bitter, Dame's hating, because we don't see what Jay-Z do behind the scenes. And Dame's speak of this. Yo, y'all don't see what goes on behind the scenes. So y'all see me. I'm, I'm open and I'm transparent and I'm speaking on what's going on. So y'all look at me as bitter. But y'all don't see what's going on behind the scenes. Y'all don't peep it. But I'm, I'm experiencing it. You know what I'm saying? So let's stop painting this picture that Dame ain't who the fuck he is. This is Dame Dash, y'all. Let's put some respect on his goddamn name, man. And I'm done with this. I'm done with this conversation. I know we are having this conversation in my comments on, the, on, that, on that viral reel that's going up right now. But I needed to make this video to, make, to say final, like, let's stop it, man. This is Dame Dash we talking about. He's one of hip-hop's moguls. Let's salute him. Let's support them and hold them accountable as well. You heard? Make sure y'all get in the comments and comment. Let me know what y'all think. Yo, do y'all think Dane is a big major reason why Rockefeller was successful? I need to know what y'all think in these comments, man. Please tell me because I'm sick of this, this narrative we're trying to push on Dane, man. In the meantime, between time, when you see mine... Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of these videos. And y'all know my slogan. If you don't grind, you don't eat. I'm out of here. Love.